Hello and welcome to video tutorial number 11. My name is Eamon Killian and I've been doing a short series of videos uh, for this YouTube channel on how to get started using IBM software. Well, tutorial 11 brings us to the end, really, of getting started. So, you can see on the screen here, we're going to be covering the API. Actually directly talking from our system straight into software and having things done. But before we hit um, the API and start learning about it, I thought I'd best round off um, by quickly walking through what we've actually covered um, through the video series so far, given that this is the end of the getting started bit and after this we're going to launch into something a little bit deeper around intermediate level using software as the basis for your business. So, you know, so far we've looked at how do you actually get going, how do you use the customer portal, building a web server, linking your domain name to a software web server or software virtual machine or indeed a bare metal machine. We've looked at LAMP, flex images, object storage, the VPN tunneling, getting out your VNC for a virtual network computing, um, using the command line to instance machines and storage, and of course using Docker with software. So we set up a node JS server and actually showed how you could transition that using Docker from your local workstation into software. So now it remains to cover the API and in this tutorial I'm going to start putting the framework together for what will end up being the structure for the intermediate level uh, software uh, tutorial videos. So what you'll need to have in place to actually follow this and follow the instructions on um, this particular tutorial is have a virtual machine running, you know, Linux or OS X or, you know, on your local host. You can develop it there on, uh, as I will be, on uh, Mac and then move it over onto Linux um, on software. Have an Apache, an Apache web server and configure it for PHP. So I'm going to be using the PHP um, API library. You can use Ruby, you can use Java, you can use C Sharp, you can use Python. Um, there's a number to choose from, but I'm more a PHP guy. So I'm going to use uh, PHP with the Apache web server and I'm going to use a little bit of jQuery. Um, so, hey, set up LAMP or WAMP, whichever is the basis of your local machine, and you'll be ready to go and follow the actual instructions. You can download the code as well. Um, I'll tell you where in a second. Um, you probably also want an IDE. Um, you can probably get away with Sublime Text or some other text editor uh, would probably suffice. Um, download the jQuery 2.1 uh, minimize library. And of course, go and get the software API client for PHP. And I've given the addresses there, so you can see them here. Um, finally, you probably want to dust off the old grey matter around jQuery, PHP, a bit of CSS and HTML, because what we're going to do is actually build something useful. Um, so I said I'm going to put together a framework here for how the intermediate section videos are going to take place. Um, as a, a view to how those will be, we're going to be looking at um, setting this tutorial out in the way and manner that those other tutorials will take place. Um, what do I actually mean by that? Well, basically, I'd like to show the end result at the start of these videos and what you'll need, a bit like we are going through now, and then we're going to work towards building that result. So, what we'll be building? Well, we're going to build a local virtual machine, either local or a virtual machine, and we're going to put a HTTP server on there, we're going to write some HTML and CSS, we're going to write some PHP scripts, and then we're going to have those scripts talk securely to the software API and they're going to do four functions. They're going to get our account info, they're going to get our user information, they're going to get our hardware information, what virtual machines we actually have running, and then we're going to actually use it to make a virtual machine. 
What's it going to look like? Well, in the end, it's going to look something like this. So the framework here is that we are using Softlayer as a company that has Softlayer as our infrastructure as a service. We're either a managed service provider, a software as a service provider, or indeed a, you know, a corporate entity who have built a white label portal so that people can consume our infrastructure, which is really software infrastructure, but they won't know it's software infrastructure. So that's the end result here, and this is what it'll look like. Um, there are great resources out there. There's many, many great resources. I've listed quite a few here from um, uh, GitHub, where you can actually download uh, sample programs, can't thank underscore Phil enough, uh, software API guru, um, his actual videos as well, really worth watching on YouTube in terms of interviews with him, where it's going, how it was put together, uh, what the actual drivers are behind the API. Uh, remember, of course, it's one of the key uniques with uh, software. Uh, there's about 2,400 methods now within the API that you can call upon to do all sorts of things. Um, and then finally, you can get the code for this and this uh, slide deck from my GitHub page, and you can download the entire thing so that you're actually ready to go with the actual programs themselves. Um, as I say, they're written in, in PHP, so you can fully read them from any IDE or from Sublime and you can follow along as we go. So without further ado, I guess let's get some, you know, let's get coding. Let's get some stuff done here. Let's build up this actual view of a white label portal and hopefully from that you will see how you could do it yourself in terms of what you want to actually build within IBM software. So I'm going to pause the video there and then when we return, I'm going to get my IDE open and we're going to start doing some coding.